Hey, Steve Zook here. Welcome back to Pokesu Channel and the Guitar Ladder System. Hey, here I'm playing uh, one of my Federico Garcias. This is a 1965. I, I might sell it. I, I really like the Garcias and the Federico Garcias. Some of them are made in Madrid, some made in Japan. Uh, some of them, like the ones made in Madrid, I feel are made by European luthiers with also Japanese luthiers involved just by the voice of it. That's just my opinion. I can't prove that. Yeah, I want to get back to an, uh, this picking exercise. If you really work on picking, uh, it's usually a weak area with most musicians. So I want to I want to share another little exercise. Repetition's the mother of mastery, and uh, you know the, the results are, are huge. Can be huge. So here another way to approach your right hand picking is uh, doing the, the twelve notes and then doubling that up to 24 and, and increasing the volume on the second set. So it, it, it's a simple exercise like and I'm in this uh, flamenco tuning where you make the G and F sharp. I just love it. So hear that? So you're doing 12 at about the same volume and then the lot the second set of 12 you increase the volume. Try to increase the volume more as you get as the second set of 12 evolves, and that's going to really explode your your picking technique and teach you kind of how to what I call flutter. But you know you you have to focus on the here and now. Don't worry about results. Don't play it sloppy. Um, hear what I'm doing there? I know this looks really simple, but believe me, it works, folks. Up. Anyway, so one more time. Let's let the plane go by. Now here I'm playing kind of soft, and then hear that? Here's medium, and then see how you make the volume kind of you know uh, increase on the second set. need to do this fast. In fact, it won't work for you if you do it fast. You've got to do it slow and clean. I know my fingernails are making a little bit of noise, so what? If you want to do it with your fingers tucked in, that's fine. It's harder for me. So 12 notes on the second set. Increase the volume as you get into that second set of 12. This helps teach your nervous system and helps you connect neurons in the brain for right hand technique, but it also opens up your capillaries. Um, in your wrists and your hands and your arms and, and helps blood flow and it's almost like you know kind of like a weight training for your right hand but it's really important you keep it clean so you do 12 notes alternate picking and then on the second set of 12 you increase the volume so really want to get in it, do it the opposite way, like, and then lower the volume. It's just, it's a matter of training your right hand, but this, don't look at this as too simplistic. This stuff is really powerful. I've had students who have done this and the results are amazing, but according to the science of neuroplasticity, don't focus on results. You know, don't put pressure on yourself. Just stay in the here and now and work on it slow and clean and let the results come chasing after you and they will.
first set could be medium volume. So that's the exercise 12. Second set of 12. And I kind of keep track of that by sets of threes. Like I'm supposed to go on 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 12. I just think of that, you know, 3 and keep track of that by 1 set of 3, 2 set of 3, 3 sets of 3, 4. It's easier that way. So don't let the simplicity of this fool you. This is really powerful. You can also do, like I've done this in other videos, 5. And then the second set of 12, you increase the volume. I like doing it in this flamenco tuning where you make the low E a D and make the G and F sharp because that way you get the O. Sounds kind of cool. So do that and... Uh, if you just do it slow and clean, you will, you will definitely get some results. But don't put a time limit on it. Bottom line, a lot of guitar players are weak in the right hand, unless you're Al Di Miola or you know, some John McLaughlin, people like that, or Ali Legrin. So when I see great players like Al Di Miola and see how beautiful their right hand is, it inspires me to continue you know, working on the right hand. And it's really an exciting tool to use, but you have to use it with taste. And uh, I have to laugh at this. My wife said, yeah, too many, too many male guitar players play with their dick. I think that's funny as shit. <laughs> Meaning that, you know, they tend to let, let their technique dominate the composition. And the technique need, needs to be a tool for the composition, not dominate the composition. And, of course, there are places where it, it certainly fits to, uh, you know, do some 64th notes or whatever. And it's really, really cool. You just don't want to overdo it. All right, folks, take care. I might sell this guitar. I really love these Garcias and Federico Garcias. This one, like I said, is a, uh, this one's a 65. I have a 69 too. And I've got a couple Garcias made in Japan. I really like them a lot. I probably don't need all four of them, so I should probably sell some of them. But anyway, all right, uh, stay positive. Remember you, you, what you focus on increases. The universe is uh, unfolding in time, not unraveling. And the universe is rigged in your favor. Just uh, focus on perfection and be positive. When you're positive, you're more in alignment with the perfection of the universe. And the universe is unfolding in time, not unraveling. Ciao.